Yep, that's right. I finally found one. Right here, I have the all-new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. In this video, I'm going to give you a full walk around, show you all the cool features, and there are many. Uh, tell you about price, fuel efficiency, engines, everything, my first impressions. And yes, we are still working on a full off-road review of the new Bronco Sport. But for now, this is kind of an introduction to the vehicle. I haven't had a chance to actually be with it for very long. Um, but here goes. Of course, first, before I get going, huge thanks to BrightonFordCO.com. BrightonFord, Colorado, me and Josh and team help me out this video would not be possible without them it's a little bit difficult to get a hold of one of these because they're actually selling pretty uh, quickly and just entering dealerships right now as we speak this is a brand new compact crossover from ford and it's kind of aimed at an adventurous person who wants to go kind of beyond pavement, of course. And it's kind of targeted also as a competitor to the Jeep. Maybe the Jeep Compass, the Jeep Renegade, maybe even at some price points, the Jeep Cherokee. All Bronco Sports are four wheel drive. So what you have here is a little compact SUV that's based on the Ford Escape, some of the same drivetrain and chassis as the Ford Escape, but it's a different body some different features and of course different type of capability so what do we have here well this is a big band model they have several different ones there's a bronco sport base model there's a big band there's auto banks with a little bit more luxury and at the higher end of the range there's also the badlands more off-road ready model and also the first edition which this vehicle kind of is launching with but this is a more simple one the sticker price on this one is about 30 grand so for 30 grand you can get all this that I'm gonna show you right now and then you can decide you know is this good bad etc so one thing I have a key in my pocket and this has keyless entry so I can just put my hand in open it there's also a keypad for it's been doing it for decades um, so if you you know if you open or you want to lock or open your vehicle you can use the keypad as well here's the interior first look of course you have the steering wheel with a cool Bronco uh, right there and this is a little bit more simple interior but I really like the materials the design this is kind of a combination of different cloths um, yes there's some harder plastics because this is more of a basic machine, not a full luxury model. And I'm gonna start the engine in a, uh, in a couple of minutes and show you everything. But first let's talk about power and efficiency. You have to pull that twice to release the latch completely. I think this is kind of cool. The hood opens right here instead of up there, kind of like a clamshell almost. I think that's a cool design feature. And because I just opened twice, I don't have any latches to worry about. Here's the engine for this big band model. This is a 1.5 liter EcoBoost turbocharged engine. And the power rating is 181 horsepower approximately and 190 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an 8-speed automatic. So all Bronco Sports are actually made it to the same, have the same transmission, 8-speed auto across the board. As you can see here, a lot of the maintenance items, there's your windshield wiper fluid, the battery, uh, the fuses, everything is very simple. This is a huge hood opening, pretty insane, um, small engine, and of course there are two engines available. There's also a 2 liter available, so if you want more power, the 2 liter offers 245 horsepower, and that's, you know, enough for any environment including Colorado here in the mountainous high altitude elevations but if you don't care about monstrous power or you know crazy fast accelerations for a crossover uh, this engine is actually not bad I just drove it here it's just okay for Colorado but this is the nice part 
Uh, 25 MPG city, 28 highway, 26 combined is the PA rating. I have no doubt that you can do that in the real world because on the way here I got about 30 according to the trip meter, just a few miles on the little highway. So I have no doubts that this machine uh, can get good efficiency with this engine. Of course it's adventurous, right? So it's four wheel drive, different wheels and tires are available. Each trim level has a unique tire. This is a Continental Pro Contact tire. The Badlands gets a little bit of taller tire for more ground clearance, more capability, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, all of them get different driving modes, but this Big Ben model has about 7.8 to 7.9 inches of ground clearance, which is not you know, best in class, but if you want more, like 8.8 inches of ground clearance, you would have to choose the Badlands. You can see there's kind of a large chin spoiler in the front for aerodynamics. And of course, different tires are available. There's also Pirellis, I believe, that are available on the Bronco Sport, depending on trim. Here's another look at the interior. I kind of love how blocky it is. It almost feels like a truck. Oh, look, there's some rocks building up a Bronco. That's kind of neat. Very neat touch. It's kind of welcoming me into into the interior. So now, there's of course, the glove box, pretty large one, cup holders, your transmission shifter, center console, with a couple of pin holders, uh, pretty nice. Also, 12 volt outlet. You got USBs, huge compartments for storing your phone and devices. Uh, I'll show you the modes in a second, and some of the driving. Um, configurations back here let me show you kind of a space by the way vents for HVAC more charging cool I'm just over 6'2 I'm sitting kind of behind myself as if I would be sitting in the front as well I have monstrous headroom I think this design is very cool it's boxy offers a lot of space I feel very you know, like it's a spacious, actually, vehicle. It's still a compact vehicle. But I do have pretty good knee room as well. I'm not hitting the seat in front of me. And I kind of like these zipper pockets. There is Molly, Mole, I'm sorry, kind of this interweaving uh, panel here for attaching accessories. Uh, zipper pocket, kind of a cool touch. Once again, it's supposed to be an adventurous vehicle to kind of go off the beaten path. Speaking of off the beaten path, let's look at the utility. There's a few tricks down back here. Of course, Bronco Sport is written in white script, which uh, I think is kind of cool. You can push this, open your rear hatch. Of course, you can also use your key to open the rear hatch. Um, here's my backpack large space as you can see uh, there's four really cool hooks two on each side 12 volt a little light with a little Bronco once again there are little Easter eggs throughout so it's in a way it's kind of similar to Jeep the way they're kind of doing some of their Easter eggs and then down here there's more rubber mats but it has a full-size spare, which I think is really cool. Because if you're in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road, you get a flat, you don't want to go home on a little donut. It's pretty dangerous. So um, that's a good feature. There is more. You can control your lights using this button back here. And it also controls the lights up here in the hatch. So if it's bad weather or if it's nighttime, and you're doing something back here, setting up camp. You have light, you have protection with the hatch. That's very cool, I love that feature. Then finally, well not finally, but I love this trick here. You can open just the glass. So you can open just the glass, reach in, get your gear, maybe have a long item sticking out, something like that, maybe skis or something. Uh, very cool. 
Oh, and there's also another Easter egg. There's a little Bronco, looks like classic Bronco, <laughs> with a little, little surfboard sticking out. It's kind of hard to see from the outside, but from the inside you could see it. Once again, Easter egg. There's a two inch receiver hitch available. Um, this vehicle tows only about, well, up to 2,000 pounds, so not huge trailers. We've got four pin connectors here. If you have a little trailer, maybe with a Bobcat, some kayaks, uh, maybe a tiny camping trailer, this can, can do it. But you may need a bigger engine to get more power for towing. Recovery points here for entering, getting your hook in there. I think that's pretty cool as far as overall utility of the vehicle, quite large. Let's fire it up, the engine, and I'll show you some driving modes. Once again, it's letting me know with a little graphic that that just entered. Push button start. This is not a huge screen, but it's big enough. Dial for your transmission, including, uh, well, including the kind of a low gear selection for selecting gears. You have your parking brake, your hill hold. You can use that in traffic or not in traffic, whatever. Goat modes, go anywhere or, or go on any terrain type of terrain. This Big Band model um, is offering five modes. Let me show you. So there's normal, just Bronco. There is sand, eco. Sorry about the focus. Sport and slippery. If you want more mo uh, modes, like rock crawl or mud and ruts, you'd have to get the big band, or I mean the Badland version. So as you can see here, revs quite nicely. Uh, let me go back to normal mode. There you go, sorry about the focus. Yeah, so overall, I'm pleasantly surprised. I, yes, it's very simple. Um, you know, some of the materials may be simple for $30,000 for this model, but it has all the features, including Sirius XM, you know, Apple CarPlay connectivity, Android Auto, um, and, and plenty of space for, even for a bigger guy, it has good amount of room. So I hope this gives you kind of a good perspective on this new crossover uh, 1,102 pounds of payload which is pretty good payload for a compact SUV um, it's assembled in Mexico there's a sticker right here engine comes from Mexico transmission comes from the US so all of that information is available for you so here's a first look we're doing more videos we're going to take one of these off-road very soon but for now, check, check all the information out at tflcar.com. Um, everything about Bronco Sport, Bronco, the upcoming Bronco that's coming next uh, this year, later this year, uh, with, uh, of course, a different vehicle based on the truck platform. But for now, I'm gonna sign off, give you another look at the new Bronco Sport. If you have any questions, of course, you can email us, either info at tflcar.com or ask at tfltruck.com and go to our websites for real world, independent and honest reviews. Thank you.